Hey guys, Jared Lindner here with Tackle Warehouse. Today we're in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. We're here at the North American Fishing Headquarters for Shimano. Let's go walk inside and check it out. Hey Trey, how's it going, man? Good to see you, man. Nice to see you. It's been a while. Guys, this is Trey. He's been a longtime buddy of mine from Shimano, and he's going to run us through the, uh, what's this? Well, we call this, uh, well, this is our headquarters for uh, North America for fishing, right. um, and this is what we just call our business center. Cool, let's go check yeah. it out. Check it out. So this is our uh, timeline of our company history. Today's actually our 97th birthday, so been around a while. We started as a bike business only, uh, started making fishing reels in the 70s. First bait cast reel with a Bantam. You may have seen some new Bantams recently. Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, I think you're liking those Much so improved far. Bantams, but that, I mean, that was one of my first bait casters, so. I'm, I'm, I'm big time into that Bantam family. Yeah. yeah, this one still feels good. Yeah, it does. Uh, but yeah, you get to see kind of the evolution of uh, Shimano as a manufacturing and development oriented company, so. In here, you can kind of see some of the uh, different models of uh, Corrado and how it's changed over time. I think we've got seven of the older generations, and I think you've fished with pretty much every one of these. Pretty much every one of those I've had on the deck of my boat at one time or another. Yeah. Some of them look pretty good still. I think uh, you, might, you all, might sneak a couple out of here. They're all lined up there. Maybe I should, we should yeah. go sample them in a pond over here. Yeah, they're, I guarantee they still work. That's what Corrado's kind of known for, so. Well, I noticed, what is this? I mean, I've been looking at this since we got in here. You got some some kind of fiber coming out of this. That is the drag. Old tranks, yeah, I guess? That is an old tranks. That is an original prototype tranks field test sample. That's the carbon fiber drag coming out of the side of it. It got just hammered by, uh, Jose Wahebe, so Jose, Jose was a longtime Shimano guy, 20 years plus. Um, I'm sure you saw his show growing oh, yeah. up, we all did. Um, but just a legend, legend. absolute yeah. legend. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, passed away a few years ago, but we just have this little display here in his honor and memory. So. Well, let's go see some of the new stuff. Yeah, I'll go check out the rest of the business center. Yeah. What's this deal, man? Yeah, you just see, uh, we've got a Talica and a Stella SW just kind of deconstructed you so you could see all the minute little parts <laughs> that go little into little tiny little screws in there. That all goes uh, into a reel? Yeah, that all goes into a reel. Wow. Not just a handle and the spool? No, there's a whole lot of design and engineering that goes into this. And we design, engineer, and manufacture all of our own reels in our own crazy. factories with our own people. That's so crazy. every single one of those parts is designed by a Shimano engineer. That's what makes them so good, right? Yes, sir. Well, where's these tranks? We've got the tranks is over here. Um, as you can see, we started with the big tranks, the big tranks 500. Giant, yeah, I remember that one. We've shrunk them down into now we've got tranks for the bass guys like you. I know you've been Absolutely. messing around with this 300 for a yes, while now. Yes, sir. Swim baits, A rigs, big stuff. Yeah. California stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And big fish. Um, but this was actually the first thing I worked on when I moved over to Japan a few years ago. So. How long um, were you in Japan? Three and a half years. Yeah, it's awesome. But yeah, this is uh, uh, near and dear to my heart, and I know yours as well. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Great reel. Yeah, so, G. Loomis, huh? Yeah, so many people do know, some don't. Shimano purchased G. Loomis uh, 21 years ago, 1997. Wow. But uh, this is just kind of a, a little display and uh, explaining the Loomis business and all the rods are still built at Loomis, designed by Loomis. Uh, actually, not a lot has changed. Um, but yeah, handcrafted in yeah, Woodland, Washington. We, we did a factory tour with Tackle yeah. Warehouse a couple of years ago up in Woodland, Washington, which was a beautiful Four area. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's um, pretty cool. Yeah, this is just kind of a little display showing kind of Lumis's commitment to being handcrafted in the USA and commitment to quality. Nice. So what do we got here? This is uh, our rod technology display. So um, we've got videos on here explaining all the different rod features, Spiral X, High Power X, CI4 Plus reel seats and uh, kind of what those mean to an angler. Uh, I know you've messed around with the Conquests oh, yeah. a lot. Yep. That does have Shimano blank technology, our patented Spiral X plus High Power X blank construction. A um, lot of performance benefits in that, less twists, more accuracy, more power as you discussed yep. in, the, in the Conquest video. Um, but yeah, this is a nice display that kind of lays it all out on uh, the unique technology that goes into our rod making. In here, we've got our uh, Hagane Technology Center um, explaining our Hagane features like Hagane gear, Hagane body, X-ship, micromodule gears. So these are really kind of our core features that go into uh, uh, making our wheels. And kind of helps explain everything. Absolutely. Yeah, so we've got uh, Hagane concept is kind of our design philosophy around the fact that we're a true metalworking company. 
production, right? So we've been in the business of forging and machining and you know high precision metalworking technology for 97 years now. So um, we're the only manufacturer that designs, engineers, and produces all of our own reels. So, awesome. I mean, this is... Uh, so these are actually a set of gears right here? Yeah, yeah, these are micromodule gears. You can see the difference between the gear teeth, and ultimately what that does with the micromodule, it just has so much more engagement. So that's some smoothness right here. A lot of smoothness, a lot of durability. Um, just almost feels too smooth. <laughs> so here we've got our PowerPro display. We can see uh, a few different demonstration things that we do here. Um, we show the capacity difference between mono and different kinds of Power Pro, standard Power Pro versus Max Quattro. Max Quattro's got a lot thin, thinner diameter, so you can fit more on the spool comparatively. Um, it's got a stretch comparison between mono and Power Pro. Um, and then also, uh, we don't have it rigged up right now, but an abrasion test, so we can rig it up with Power Pro versus any competitor and show the abrasion resistance. Power Pro is really known for its abrasion resistance. So, um, just a cool little display that we use for interactive when, when we bring people in here. It's cool. Yeah. So here we've just got our uh, product display area. So we like to showcase new products in here. Uh, we bring dealers in here. We have consumer events. And we even uh, let a lot of the local fishing clubs have their meetings here. So you're big into the community stuff. Yeah, and, absolutely. And so the bass clubs a and big fishing thing, clubs. A big thing with us moving here to South Carolina is we really wanted to get uh, in with the local community, working with the CCA, the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, um, all of our local dealers to really uh, try to make this our new home here in the low country. So. Well, the one thing I don't see is a shopping cart. Like, <laughs> I, I was informed you can do that I get. some serious shopping in here. So out here we've got uh, our distribution center. So they're actually just shutting down for the day, so we're, uh, we're not gonna go inside, but we service all of our customers, uh, mostly on the East Coast uh, with the facility here, um, shipping uh, both bike and fishing out of here. Massive facility, pretty impressive. Yeah, it was pretty big <laughs> yeah. walking around the building. So you can see up here, we've kind of just got an open office concept. Um, a lot of people out today, but um, we're still growing our team here as well. But uh, open floor plan, everybody's accessible. Really nice uh, just to be able to walk over and walk over and talk to marketing, supply chain, sales. And uh, as you can see, we're not a massive operation. <laughs> yeah, but it's clean, it's organized, it's yeah. open, like you said. It's Everything except my sweet. desk. Don't look at my desk. Yeah, we don't want to see that. <laughs> This is our uh, tackle room, so we just uh, we get in here, mess around with rods and reels, spool stuff up. Um, you know, not a not a huge space, but I personally spend a lot of time in here rigging stuff up and bending on rods, and we're still in the process of getting it built out. But um, you know, it's a new facility. But yeah, just where we store a lot of our uh, action samples. And you got like stuff that. rigged and ready to go. Yeah, some of this is top secret. I don't know about you, I'm getting kind of hungry. Dude, everything's all set up. You got the new Traeger Timberline. Yes, sir. This is the maiden voyage. Good thing you got somebody who knows how to cook on it. Yeah, I think you know how to use this thing, right? You got one of these at the house. Yeah, well, let's get this thing fired up, man. Yes, I mean, sir. it is fired up, but let's get the meat on there. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful evening. We got some cold beer, nice patio. So let's, uh, let's hang out and cook some meat. Well, thanks for the tour. Absolutely, dude. Anytime you want to come. Well, I'll be back, I promise. I hope so. Hey, guys, make sure and check out more to come on tacklewarehouse.com.